So fantasy life iron got delayed again for the third time now. So what the damn goose is going on? Well, I would like to talk about my thoughts and feelings on everything that has happened over the years. Plus, I would love to hear what the community has to say. I like how we have fantasy life I, but clearly it's not ready yet. And level five's marketing team is, oh, I haven't really seen any of that charm the original 3DS game had to offer. Like locations, life, Quests, dialogue, crafting gear. Yes, I know some of these are mentioned and about me in the game, but I still haven't seen it. I don't just want some mysterious island with some of the old characters coming back I and mean, time traveling and just town building. Again, these are just my opinions. Welcome to share yours in the comments down below. I'm glad the game actually did get delayed. I could kind of tell it was gonna get delayed. After looking at the footage, there hasn't really been much, and Fantasy Life I, the development team, has been making trailers as the game progresses. And you can kind of see this. But I have one concern. All the footage that we have seen so far is just not really there. Like, think back to all the content that is available on the 3DS game. Do you think we have that much content? To play in Fantasy Life I, so I would like to go over all the past trailers for Fantasy Life I that has been shown so far and their progression, and speculate why it has been delayed. All the videos I talk about in this video have been covered and you can click up on the card up here as I cover all things Fantasy Life. Fantasy Life I was randomly announced at Nintendo Direct in 2023. Not long after Fantasy Life Online, the mobile version, Global, shut down. The footage they showcased was in early development, it looked like, and didn't really show much. But the community was hyped, and was planned to release in 2023. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. One month later, they did a teaser trailer, and you can see the game was still in early development. Like apples being honey. Plus, it seems crafting and gathering NPCs didn't help in combat, and they sneaked peeked two new lives. Next month, they showcased at level 5 Vision the same footage from last month, but at the end, Hino said the meaning to the fourth eye, which was Keiji Inafune, who is a Bajusha of Fantasy Life Eye, and a part of his team, Fantasy Life Concept, worked alongside Fantasy Life Mobile. And they announced they have plans for global release in 2023. Are you sure about that? Six months later, Tokyo Game Show is starting around the bend, and we got a new trailer for Fantasy Life I'm, and they showcased the new farmer life. I'm glad Gil's petition finally worked out from the 3DS game to get a farmer, but what about all them other lives that were planned that never came? They also showcased some improved UI, cosmetic armor, as well as these strange links, which seems to be a character's soul trapped inside so they can travel into the future. And the game is set to release in 2023, and it's currently September. Tokyo Game Show has started, and they showcase the same trailer while talking about the farm alive. Sadly, nothing new. But the next day, they reveal a new life artist, which now makes it 14 lives in total. They showcase the demo they had at Tokyo Game Show, which was just a slice of the game where you need to help Rem with tasks around the island and get ready for the festival, such as gathering, crafting, and fighting. You can watch a full English demo gameplay of here. Over two months later, we got a new release date, 2024 summer. They released other teaser going over the before and after what from the that? 3DS to Fantasy Life I. Which was kind of funny to me because I was working on a HG texture pack for Fantasy Life as like a remaster and it's looking really good. I guess I could put it out on October 10th now. Now, at the end of this video, they do a little sneak peek on what they have planned implement into the game. And it's quite a lot, which hasn't been showcased yet, like the Abyss. And remember, this game is set to release worldwide simultaneously and is undecided to be released on other platforms. That is a lot of work for level five. There's also speculations, maybe, they are trying to get ready for the Switch 2, which is coming out in 
2025. It's now 2024, time flies, and Fantasy Life I is showcased at Nintendo Partner. And we get a new release date, October 10th. Is now a set date, not just summer, or 2023, or 2024. So they showcase the town and new lives, plus some co-op. So that's everything we have seen so far. We had two months until the release of Fantasy Life I. Note, at this point, we couldn't really officially pre-order Fantasy Life I yet. And we just went five months without a single tweet of information from Fantasy Life I. Tool, we got a post from Hino saying week that he has delayed Fantasy Life I the girl who steals time and said they will give us details at level 5 vision which we don't even know when that is we just know summer so that's everything we have seen so far for fantasy life i well it has been in development i would love to hear what the community has to say so let me know in the comments down below and thank you for listening i'm highly anticipating fantasy life i and the girl who steals our time and I hope the new footage is good, which will be showcased at level 5 vision. And let's hope it has a set date, not just summer 2025. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button for me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goose out. Quack.